your when you first get the call when you started first talking with Mickey about possibility just coming back kind of as a ceremonial thing what was your what was your reaction well, it was definitely um one that you're honored about one that you're definitely pleased about and uh you know I know there's some amazing things that have happened for this team and uh you know I just wanted to be a part of it you know and uh just to have this opportunity that I have now you know it's a uh, it's definitely a blessing for me talk about exactly what your role is going to be tomorrow and kind of how you'll feel stepping back out there on in, under that dome floor well, originally when we first started talking, you know, it was just to be an honorary captain. But, you know, uh, over over that time, you know, just to be able to be a part, you know, actual part of it, you know, to participate in the meetings, you know, to go out to practice, you know, it's uh, it, it's moving fast. But I, I definitely think, you know, all the guys have uh, been appreciative as well as the um, the staff, you know, and Mr. Benton. Um, so it's definitely exciting, you know. But my role tomorrow to just to be able to not only get our, our players ready, but just to be able to help those running backs as the game unfolds. What was the initial reaction of the teammates? Did uh, this had to take quite a bit of them by surprise when they saw you walk in? Well, it definitely uh, not only them, them but myself <laughs> as well. I mean, uh, it was definitely a moving, moving feeling, um, and you know, all those guys. I, I've been watching. You know, I've been keeping up with them, and uh, you know, any way I can help them achieve that goal that we started a couple years ago, that's that's what I want to do. Any realistic shot you could come in and take snaps this postseason? You never know. I mean, you never know how things may shake out. So. Uh, if it if it if it's gonna happen, it, it, it's gonna happen. But uh, you know, we're just gonna take it one game at a time. You know, uh, you're in a one game elimination, so we got to get tomorrow before you can even look at anything down the road. As you were sitting back, away from all of the action that's going on in 11 and 0, 12 and 0, 13 and 0 is happening. What's kind of going through your mind at that time? Well, the biggest thing is, you know, uh, just to be consistent, just to go out and be consistent and have fun and not let the stress and the pressure really get to you. I mean, uh, looks like if you do take care of your business, you'll get you'll get everything that you want, you know, uh, the upcoming week, you know, if they take care of their business as well. So, um, um, you know, it was definitely a great run. I mean, but, you know, just looking back at the, the games that you have lost uh, the past couple of games, you have a great, you have an opportunity to start a new streak. How close are you to getting back to where you want to be physically? It's just going out and making plays. You know, um, I haven't done a lot as far as, you know, playing football. So uh, as far as being fresh, et cetera, you know, we, all, we I know that's there, you know, but um, just sharpen the mind. I mean, uh, I know I'm not the same back that I was in 01 or 02, but uh, I can still go out there and play the game. You still got a couple more seasons in you, you believe? Hopefully so. Hopefully so. You know, you just have to take it one game at a time and just basically one step at a time at this point.